Okay, aloha mai kako. Welcome back to our Ikaolelo Virtual Hawaiian Language Class. Today is Po Alua, Kala Ikahi o Keke Mapa. And today we're going to be focusing on Opa'a number 10 or unit number 10. Um, if you're joining us for the first time, this is our agenda. We'll be going, we'll be talking about throughout this class. Uh, just a quick little overview of each thing. Um, and yeah, aloha mai kako e nahaumana. Again, welcome to our class. Uh, if you're new, this is what we normally do at the beginning. We um, answer these three questions. Ovai koi noa, what is your name? Noho oi ihea, where do you live? And heha kau ho ike ike kiwi punahele. So what is your favorite television show or um, Netflix or what you're currently binging on Netflix or whatever, Hulu, whatever. You can type that in the chat. Um, you can make that to open to everyone so everyone gets to know each other a little bit more. Yeah. Oh, next shirt, Kaoru, Aika Olelo. Okay, so for me, um, Aloha Mekako, or Kumukanu Ola Solatorio Ko Uinoa, Nohoao Ike Valo Uka, and I am currently watching The Crown on Netflix, and then Hulu. I'm just watching old Survivor reruns. Okay. Aloha. O anui nui ko ui noa noho au i um ke valo uka um and I like to watch every night before I go to bed Trevor Noah. Okay, and then we also watch the Queen's Gambit. If you didn't watch that yet, watch it. All right, if you know our hula, hula with us. Ready and. Ahila nani mahavaine, ahila nani mahavaine, na uoi, na uoi, na uoi ke kumu. A ovao no kao hao mana. Aloha hi ahi kako. Okay. All right, so we're going to call on a few of you to read some of our loina. Uh, we will practice the following values in this class. Just so um, we have, you know, some ground rules and some uh, things to follow in class. I'm going to call in some of our new Haumana. Um, where are your names? We'll start with Kavena. Kavena, can you please read for us? Aloha. Um, I'll start with the first one. Aloha ke kahi i ke kahi. Love one another. We are an ohana. Mahalo nui. Um, I don't know the names are. Okay, wait. I'm going to stop sharing real fast. There you go. Okay, uh, let's have, who else is new? Kaoru, would you mind reading this next one? Hoihi aku, hoihi mai. Yep, and to be respectful on camera and in the chat, mahalo. Okay, our next one, let's have um, Kanani. Can you read yours? Kanani e kulia ikanu, strive to be the very best you can be. Okay, mahalo. And then, I don't know your name, but I don't know, it's not showing up. I just asked you to unmute. If you can please introduce yourself and read the last one. Oh, uh, Leilani. I'm Leilani, and uh, uh, Ika. Olelo my hila hila. Dare Perfect. to speak. Don't be shame in class. Mahalo. So that's our number one rule. Um, especially for those who are new. No be shame. We're just gonna go. Don't even care. No one's gonna judge you. Just go and speak. Okay. All right. So um we're gonna start with our Oli Ehomai asking all of our kupuna for wisdom. Um, so if you know it, please only along or just follow along with us. Okay, makoko. Eho mai ka ike mai luna mai e O na mea huna no e au O na mele Eho mai Eho mai Eho mai e ai, eho mai, 
kai ke mai luna mai e o na me ahuna no eu o na me le e ho mai e ho mai e ho mai e Kai ke mai luna mai e, o na me ahuna no e au, o na me le, e ho mai, e ho mai, e ho mai e. Just had to test you that last part. <laughs> Make sure you knew it after 11 weeks, please. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. So just a little, not preview, but if you never got to see, we did this PBS Hawaii Neighbor Challenge. Um, and we, or I remade the Mr. Rogers. Just watch it. Nani ke o ke kauna nei a pela o e te hoa na u paha o o e paha Nani ke o ke au nei a pela no ke kauna na u paha o o e paha E a ke ana i ke hoa kui a o e e no ho ma ke kai a u lo he E o la noli ho i ke i ala, ai nga paua e o nga noli a, nga upa, o o e pa, e ho ano ho mai, e he ano, e he ho mai, e ho ano ho mai. Yeah, especially for today, Giving Tuesday, figured it'd be good to show it. Um, yeah, I really had trouble taking off that shoe, if you can believe. <laughs> you can. Stop. Huh? I can't with you tonight. Okay. Um, and then reviewing what we learned last week about uh, appreciation, so kamahalo. Uh, we had two questions that we learned. The first one, eho pini mai, and then at home you can repeat after me. He aha kau e mahalo ai. He aha kau e mahalo ai. Okay, so that means what are you thankful for? Um, and then to answer you would say mahalo ao i, one of these three, and then the object. And then the next question, o vai kau e mahalo ai. O vai kau e mahalo ai. So who are you thankful for? And then for this, since it's a name, you're just going to say mahalo ao ya, and then put the name. Okay, so I'm going to have you guys answer both of those questions in the chat. Um, you can just use my example and fill it in. Uh, so you're going to choose one object and one person that you're thankful for, and then put that in the chat. Object, you can do family, you can do dog, you can do your car, um, whichever. You did. You may be confused with this ko'u, ka'u, and ku'u. Just try your best. Just choose whatever you think might work. But can you review? Can you give us a review? Well, I guess a preview, yeah. So ko'u, again, is things that you can't choose. So everything you're born with, um, that's, if it's like family, it will be your generation and above. So all your siblings, parents, grandparents, uncles, aunties, everything else. Okay, ka'u is everything below your generation. So your children, your mo'opuna, your um, great mo'opuna and all that. What about my younger sister? Your younger sister is your generation. So that's oh, your ko'u. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Um, ka'u is the younger. Ka'u also includes your pets, your dog, um, your other half, your spouse, your kane or your wahine. And then ku'u. Do you guys remember what ku'u is? If you guys remember, can someone... Turn on their mic and say what ku'u was. There, sky, yep. Beloved. Beloved. Something more dear to you. 
Exactly. Thank you. So something a little bit more dear to you, um, like, of course, your family, your land, your nation, your um, kupuna, your friends, those will be your kuu. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So, Suri Kazakapi, he hakao e mahalo ai. Mahalo ao i kau i liu. I liu. I liu. Okay. So, she's thankful for a dog. And uh, you want to ask me? Um, over... Yeah. 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 Uh, mahalo ao ya um, Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then. Aloha o salana ko uina. Mahalo, mahalo ao i kuku ahana. Mahalo ao i kuku mau kupina. Mahalo ao i kuku mau hoa. Mahalo ao i kuku mau kupina. Mahalo ao i kuku hanae kuku. Mahalo ao i kuku aina. Mahalo ao i kuku uh, lokui. Mahalo ao i kuku o lalo. Mahalo ao i kuku o la. Mahalo ao ia, ia e hookini mai. Mahalo. Oh. Mahalo, Solana. Thank you. Thank you, Solana. Okay. Um, here are some review questions. Uh, I'm going to have you guys choose maybe two or three of these and type your answers in the chat. Again, if you're new and you're like, what the heck is going on? <laughs> Just um, try your best to, uh, we, we always do this review last class. So just try and translate it. Again, mahalo ao iku'u shows I am thankful for. And then this is, this next part would be what they're thankful for. Okay, so let's see what you got. And if you guys can do that um, privately, so no one can cheat. Okay. So mahalo ao iku'u mau ilio. Mahalo ao iku'u mau hoa hanao pupule loa. What is the next one? Mahalo ao i kuu mau keki a me kuu mau mo'opuna. Mahalo ao i ke akua no na pomaika'i a pao. And the fifth one, from English and Hawaiian, I'm thankful for Oprah Winfrey. Okay, so let's see. We'll give you guys one and a half, maybe two minutes to translate. Um, try, if you can get all five, that would be totally fine. Okay. Yeah. Some of the three, yep. Again, these are meant to be simple. We threw a little bit of hard stuff in there, but let's see what you guys can come up with. Uh, also, if you need any help with translating, you can go to vehevehe.com. Um, that's pretty much the online Hawaiian language dictionary. So. Or put it in the chat. Or put it in the chat, yep. You can or see. Or wave your hand. Or wave your hand, yep. I can have a few new people. Kaimi, Lani. Aloha, Kaimi. Thanks for joining us. Hi, Kaimi. Hi, Lani. Aloha. What's the new Leilani? Yes. Okay. And I'm going to have you guys raise your hand in the reaction if you guys can or want to volunteer to translate one of them. I'm just going to call you if you don't raise your hand. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, cousin Tammy, you want to try the first one? Hiki no. Mahalo ao i kuku mau ilio. I am thankful for my dogs. Perfect. Oh, perfect. Mahalo. Mahalo. Um, Haleaka, you want to try the second one? Okay, let me see. Let me move this thing here. Kalamai. Mahalo ao i kuu mau hoa hanao pupule loa. I'm thankful for my crazy cousin. Yeah, my crazy cousin. The cousins. Yeah, the mau shows the plural, yeah? Yes. Cousins. There you go. Okay. Mahalo. Uh, mahalo. Um, Kapo, can you do number three? Mahalo ao i kuu mau keki a me kuu mau mo'opuna. Um, I'm thankful for my children and my grandchildren. Yes, there you go. 
Uh, number four, let's have um, Kavena. You want to try? Sure. Mahalo o i ke kia kua no na poma ka i apo. So mahalo to God. Thanks. To, I'm thankful for God for all of His blessings. There you go. Wow. Thank you. And then number five, um, let's have Erika. Can you read exactly what you typed? Okay. I am um, Mahalo au ia Oprah Winfrey, even though I didn't get a car. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Why are you going to get us free cars? What the heck? Okay. Yeah. Mahalo au. Perfect. So, yeah. Mahalo au ia Oprah Winfrey because it's a name. Okay. So, a quick little review for last week's class. Um, and moving on to this week's class. So, today's lesson, Opa, is going to be about Naholoholona or animals. Um, again, I think last week we learned about Hanaya Huhu, which is a pet, uh, but this is more a general term for animals. Everyone repeat after me. Holo Holona. Holo Holona. It's kind of a tongue twister, but Holo Holona, if you keep repeating it, you'll get it. Okay, so just quickly, if you can answer these three questions, what kind of pets do you have? Why are your pets so important to you? And how do you malama your pets? It doesn't have to be long, it can be pretty short. Okay, so Auntie here has a popoki, one popoki, yeah. Uh, for us, we have uh, two dogs, one at my papa's house where I'm at, and then one at my mom's house. Um, and then this dog is called Emma, and then on that side, it's called Irikea. And why are your pets so important to you? Because they don't answer back. Wow, <laughs> triggered much. Yeah. They don't answer back. They bark. Yeah, that's okay. No. Okay, and then how do your malama beat your pets? Um, he sleeps on my bed when he gets scared of the fireworks. Okay. And yeah, just love him as he is. Okay, good. Uh, yeah, just a quick little, um, we couldn't find a lot of Olalo no Eo about animals or like one general for animals, so we just figured make something a quick questions like these but you can keep answering those questions uh we're gonna just move on to our lesson uh so again Naholoholona. we have this question this is just our unit on google classroom for those of you who are new so if you didn't start it yet this is a good kind of um dive right in kind of thing okay all right can you read this for us student cousin kathy oh, pe -pe -ke. Henua is a locational sentence and is used to locate a person, place, or thing. In this unit, you will learn how to form Pepeke Henua locational sentences by learning about different animals. There are four parts to every Pepeke Henua sentence. These parts are? You have your po'o or your head, which is the first word, and that's going to be aya. Aya shows that it's a locational sentence or a locative. The next is your pico, your middle part, and that is your subject. Um, so in this case, we're just going to be putting the animal in that subject, in the pico part. And then lastly, you have your ami, your joint word, um, and your ave, which is your location. Okay, so four different parts to remember. And we have this squid just to remind us that um, the ave, you can have add so many different locations or different ave that it can go up to eight, 30, however much you want. So that's why we use this squid as our metaphor for po'o pico on the ave. Okay. Any questions? Okay. All right, so let's just go over a few of um, our animal terms right here. I'm sure you guys know some of them, um, but I'm gonna call on a few of you and you wanna take a guess at what these animal terms are using what we have on the left hand side. Okay, let's start with um, Malulani. Can you give us this first one? The first one is the uh, Popoki. Yeah. Kapopoki. Kapopoki, thank you. So, everyone, repeat after me oh, Popoki. Popoki. Popoki is your cat. Um, next, can we have Kalai? You want to try this one, the pink one? Ward? Yep. Aloha, uh, ka, kapua'a. Mahalo. Kapua'a is your pig, everyone. Hohidimai. Pua'a. Pua'a. Okay. Um, next, let's have 
Lena Ala, can you read the next one? Or guess the next one? Kaiole. Kaiole. So your um, mouse or rat is your favorite animal, yeah? Okay, next you have Auntie April. You want to try? Kalapaki. Good job. Lapaki, your rabbit. Um, let's have Amanda. Um, Jimenez, you want to try this one right here? This is a guess. Como? Yep. Totally. Yep. I knew it. More is chicken. Okay. More is chicken. Good nice. job. Okay. Let's go to the next page with um, Kaimi Onalani. Um, Kapipi. Kapipi. Yep. So that's the word for cow, which is weird because the word for goat is cow. K-A-O, and the word for cow is pee-pee. I don't know how these things work, but there must be a story behind that. Okay, Carly, can you do the last two? Yeah, the dog is Kailio. Yep. And the horse is Kalio. Good job. Okay, thank you. Mahalo, everyone. Um, good job. There's going to be some more, and those are going to be harder. So y'all got off on the easy ones. All right, so our question, Aya Ihe Kapua'a. I hope you might. Aya Ihe Kapua'a. Aya Ihe Kapua'a. Okay, so we're going to put all of these things together um, into a Pepekehe Nua locational sentence. Kapo, can you read that, please? I remember that story now. Can you um, read what you just said in the chat? Um, the story that I was told about the reason why the goat was named cow was because when they was taking animals off the boat, they thought the goat was the, goat was the cow. So they said cow. <laughs> oh. That was when they first came over, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. That, yeah, that was from La Lepa. Was that from La Lepa? I think so. <laughs> yeah, I I heard that. Okay, so um, again, Aya Ihea is where and then kapua'a. Aya ihe kapua'a. So what would that mean? Where is the pig? Where is the pig? Okay, so to answer, you could say, aya kapua'a. Aya your po'o, kapua'a your pico. Ma, it shows that it's on or at some place. And then o'ahu. Okay, so now that you have that, try and translate. Aya kapua'a ma o'ahu. You mean goats, not one native, holo holo? <laughs> <laughs> Try your best to translate in the chat privately. Aya kapua'a ma o'ahu. Good, Kavits. Yeah. You kind of have the answer right here, but try not to look at it. I don't know. Good, Lindy. Okay. Lindy. Oh, no. Don, can you read your answer, please? The pig is on Oahu. Yes, the pig is on Oahu. Okay, so we're going to use that same example and using this example, using this sample. Aya ihe kapua'a, where is the pig? And you're going to type your answer in the chat. All right, get off the goat subjects, Kelly. <laughs> We're over the goats. <laughs> That's my friend. I can be sassy. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, good. Akiko, yep. Kealohi. Good, Kealohi. Elena Ala, yes. So, um, let's have... Kelohi, can you read yours? Um, I'm gonna read the correct way because I think I wrote um Aya Iha Kapua'a. Aya Kapua'a Ma Maui, which means the pigs stay on Maui. That's perfect. Throw the pigeon in there. Okay. So yeah, the pig is on Maui, Aya Kapua'a Ma Maui. Um, let's try some of these sample sentences. So using the ones that we learned already, um, 
the different animal terms. Try and translate one or two, maybe one Hawaiian and one English. Um, don't do the first one because that's easy. Where is, Where is the dog? Okay, so just choose one of the Hawaiian ones, these next two, and one of the English ones to translate. If you need help, um, raise your hand. The new students, let me know. I'm, I'm here. I'm going to give everyone about a minute to translate the two sentences. And I'm sorry, we have two screens, so I got to make sure everyone's good. Good, guys. This is a pretty easy um, structure, yeah? Not too difficult yet. <laughs> Post this before I look into this too. <laughs> Hello, he. Stop. <laughs> okay, and then I'm just going to have you guys, if you want to translate, um, again, raise your hand, but I'm going to call on some of you who didn't get to go yet. Let's try and get everyone go. Henesis, yeah, you want to try um, this one? Oh, which one? Uh, the one, the highlighted one. Do you see it? Are you Kamua Kawaii? Yeah. Oh, it's sorry. It's supposed to be Ma. Call me. What? Okay. Uh, what Kamua. Uh, <laughs> ah, okay. Are you Kamua Kawaii? The chicken wow. is of Hawaii. Perfect. Good job. Gracias. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, let's have Chris. You want to try the next yeah. one? Um, the horse is on Molokai. Good. Ayakaleo ma Molokai. The horse is on Molokai. Let's have who didn't get to go yet? Um, Bianca. Can you try the English to Hawaiian? Perfect. Good Perfect. job. The cat is on Lanai. And the last one, the cow is on Hawaii. Let's have uh, Akanekoa. You like try? Oh, sorry. Oh, there, you're in two screens. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Karamai Aya Kapipi Mahavai. Perfect. Aya Kapipi Mahavai. Good job. So most of you, um, yeah, you guys got the answer. Okay, thank you. Okay, so um, let's, I'm not going to call you this time. Let's see. In the order like this, try and type in what you guys like your guess. So it'll be go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then type in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Yeah, let's see what you guys come up with. If you did it already, don't cheat. Nah. But I'm hungry. But I'm hungry. But I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Come on. Yes. Well, we pull out Meko, um, Meko, um, Oya Ke Kumuma Campbell. Oh, Punahele. Kuliki Ake or Campbell. I think Punahele is his name. Oh, is that his name? Um, Paha, they just introduced me to him as Jordan Ichiki or something. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Well, um, Lalo, I am Kamaaina, I am Meoi. Ma, I am Eko, I am Koa Mele. Yeah, uh, Nick and Zach. Yeah, I'm okay. Aye, aye, yeah. No, come here, hey, um, Kumu Sub Ilaila, no Keya Pule. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. 
Um, all right, they're coming in, so I'm gonna go down the line. Number one, Kapua. Is it supposed to be K? K. Carmelo. Yes, it is. Oh, Kumu, what's going on? <laughs> okay, so K. Carmelo, good. Um, next, Yolani. Hmm. I'm gonna guess because I don't know. K. Kau. No, oh, remember Kau was. We just talked about it, so. Oh, can I try again? Yeah. Okay. So what does it look like from another animal? One bull. Yeah, so. You heard cow before, yeah? So, peep peep. I, oh, cow peep peep. Okay. Poke. Yeah. I guess that's aye, aye, aye. Okay, guess sorry. What that's what water buffalo is. Next, let's have Lindy. You want to try this one? Ha, Bella Pani. Yep, Bella Pani. Um, P. Ilani, you want to try this one? Uh, P. Ilani, sorry, I don't know your last name. Follow me. Oh, I don't know that one. Oh, okay, Colila. Yeah, so gorilla, Colila, kind of transliteration of the English word. Uh, I think, uh, cousin Mapuana, this next one. Kekika. Um, yeah, which is funny. Kika is actually guitar too in Hawaiian. So you have guitar and tiger. Okay. Um, I see, uh, cousin Deborah, you want to try this next one? Kikilape. Yeah, Kikilape, your giraffe. And we already know this one was cow, cow, the um, goat, which means this one is? Um, Lai Haokela. Lai Haokela, good. Yeah, so we have our next set of animals that we're going to be using, um, and that is aye ihea ka elepani. Can you type what that means in the chat? Aye ihea ka elepani. Easy kind of things, not too hard. Yeah, good. So what does that mean, Leilani? I know you're new, but you want to try? Where's the elephant? Where's the elephant, exactly. <laughs> okay, so, um, oh yes. We have a few countries that we're going to translate into Hawaiian. And I'm just gonna give it to you because I know the flags, you may not be familiar with it. Uh, what? I don't even know what that is. <laughs> I'm guessing that's India. E India, there you go. So India is Inia, Ehoopinimai, Inia. Inia. Then we have um, France, which is Palani. Palani. Um, then we have Akiko. Can you read this one? What is this one in in Hawaii? Yapana. Yapana. Mahalo. Okay. Then we have um, my favorite because I'm part Chinese. We have China, which is Kina. Well, my favorite is Hawaii, but it's not. Yeah, you know what I mean. Okay. And then we have. Uh, Auntie Hale, you want to try this one? Cousin Hale, sorry. Is that Nuholani? No. no. Um, that's I right above. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> no, no, that's the one right above America. So how do you say that in, or United States? Oh, Kanaka. 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 Yeah, sounds like Canada, yeah. Oh. Okay. Then we have this next one. Yeah, I know. There's still not a high Hawaii emoji yet. Oh, what's up with that? Um, okay, let's have Pamela. Oh, no. Pamela, you want to do this last one? Mexico. 
Mexico. Mexico. Yeah. Good. So then, because of you have two choices. So which one do you want? <laughs> Why are you giving me the hardest one? No, Polani. Which one? Uh, the one on the right. Yeah. That's Australia. It's a. Got a break. <laughs> <laughs> well, you had a 50 50 chance. Hello. And this one is Aikupika or Egypt. So why did we jump from animals to this? Because it's a location. Hello. Oh, okay. Got it. Jesus. <laughs> okay. So this is um, Ayaka Elepani Ma Afelika, which is Africa. So the elephant is on or at Africa. Um, let's try this one. Aya Iheaka Elepani. Remember the flag? What, what's the country? Do you remember the country? Yeah. All right, I'm showing you. Okay, okay. So what is your answer to that? Good. Good, Erika. Yep. Paliaka, my kai. Lindy, try again. Look at the flag that we have here and then look at the one over here. Good, everyone. Yep. Sky, you want to try to give us your answer? Good job. What does that translate to? The elephant is in India. Good job. Okay. okay. Um, they are Egyptian. Elephant. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. So, again, we're going to go with these five um, sentences. I want to see if you guys can get all five. Let's see what you guys can come up with. Um, peakina, bear, is pea. So a peakina is this, and then the koala is this. So pea, koala, and peakina, just so you guys can know. Again, these are kind of just like equations. You're plugging them in, putting um, wherever you need to go. Aya is always going to begin showing that it's a location. It's not really uh, translated. It just shows that it's a location. And then you, your first one is going to be the animal on country, if that makes sense. Good, Carly. Yep. Perfect. Good, Kaliks, Makamai, oh, Makamai. Okay, let's start with Carly. Can you read us this first example in Hawaiian and your translation? Aya Ihea Kalai Haukela. Yeah. Um, where is the rhino? Where is the rhino? Good. Um, next, let's have uh, Malulani. No, I'm not there you go. Makamai, sorry. Ayake Kamaleo Ma Aiku Pika. The camel is. What is that one again? Europe. No. Nope. Egypt. 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 There you go. There we go. Okay. So the camo is on Egypt. Let's try this one. This one's pretty easy. Kailani, you want to try? Uh, Aguilar. Oh, there. Uh, it's a bear. It's in China. Uh, yeah. What kind of bear? You have the panda. Have panda, yeah. So the Chinese bear. The panda bear. is in China. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Um, let's have Solana. You want to tell the goat is in Canada? Yeah. Um, I can. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I can cow. 
I K Cow. Oh, sorry. Okay. I K Cow Ma Kanak Kanaka. Kanak, yeah, Kanaka or Kana, uh, yeah. It's a weird kind of because you hear Kanaka as people, so Kanaka, yeah. That's correct. Thank you, Solana. And then the last one, the koalas on Australia. Student comes happy. Because you gotta pay attention. You can't just <laughs> sit and not do nothing. I uh, um call koala. Kapia koala ma Nuholani. Good. Aya kapea koala ma nuholani. The koala is in or on Australia. Okay, my kai. Um, oh my god, time goes by too fast. Okay, so what I'm gonna have you guys do is you're going to choose one bird. So everyone choose a bird right now. You have your um, pigeon, which is aiko. No, I think this is just the manu, like a regular bird. Then you have your pueo, your nunu, your kaka, your duck. Your eagle is aiko. Wait, yeah, aiko. Then you have your penequina, your penguin. Your moakeki is your chick and your pedehu. So choose one of those animals. Okay, yeah, put them in the chat. Keep it for later. We're going to be making sentences with these. Now choose one insect. You have your cricket is uhini, cricket. Ant is now now. Ladybug is ponu momi, ponu momi. Butterfly is pulalehua. It's my favorite. Um, the nalo meli is a bee. This, oh no, this is Enuhe, Kalamai. This is Scorpion, is Kamo'o Nihoava. And then, I don't know. I think this is the Kamaloli, and this is the Uhini. That's correct. Can you, can you drag it so we know? I guess. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so choose one um, insect. We're going to be creating sentences with these. Hopefully, you got your bird too. Manu. Your Manu, yeah. Okay, you George your student because they copy? Yeah. Okay, and then lastly, we're going to choose an in uh, sea creature. So you have your ia, your fish. What is this one? Um, we just went over it. So let's have, we didn't get to go yet. Everyone actually spoke already, good job. I guess we're gonna call on the people whose cameras are out. No, lehua. You wanna try, what is this in English, in Hawaiian? I call my he'e. He'e, good. Ka he'e. Then you have your naia, your dolphin. Papa'i is crab. Kohola is your whale. I'm gonna jump to this one. Mano, the shark. And Pupu is your shell. Okay. And this is the action of fishing, so that's Kalavaya. Or also the fisherman too. All right, so our question now is going to be Aya Ihea Naia. Aya Ihea Naia. So, where are the fish? Okay, so we're going to say Aya Naia Maloko Kekai. So, what is, um, if we come up here, you have different things that you may have heard before, but let's just review them. Maluna. Maluna. On top of or above. Malalo. Malalo. Below or under. Maloko. Maloko. Inside. Mavaho. Mavaho. Um, outside. Maluna. Mamua. Or Mamua. Mamua. In front of. And Mahope. 
mahope uh, behind. behind. Okay. Okay. So, how now that you know maloko, what does that mean? Ayanai a maloko. Okay, Kai. Um, the naia is in. No, no, naia. Naia is in the ocean. Okay, what is naia? Um, the fish. The fishes are in the ocean. Okay, so oh, that's the same thing. Ayanai a maloko okay, Kai. Let's try some of these. Uh, that means I gotta go over this. Okay, sorry. Let's just go over this real fast. So, what is this again? Kikai, the ocean. I know this may seem like a lot, but the just, beach. Just row with us. Kahakai, the beach. Then you have your Mauna, the mountain. If you need a screenshot this page after a pal, you can screenshot it. It will help you with the next activity. Okay, then you have desert is Vaone. Vaone, desert. And then you have Paka is like a park. Okay. Pua, your flower. Lani is sky. And then Kumulao. Okay, so you can take a picture with your phone. Maybe this will help you with your next activity. All right, so hopefully you guys get them. Um, let's see what you guys can come up with with this next one. So ayanamanu makalani, um, if you can translate that one, ayanamanu makalani. Na is your plural, yeah? So that shows more than one. Good tanani, yeah. I'm hungry. It's just tater tots, Jesus. Good. Um, Kaimi you want to read your English? Um, yes, the birds are in the sky. Good, the birds are in the sky. Let's try this next one. Ayakapupu makikahakai. Yeah, some easy kind stuff. Want to try? Let's have. Um, I think everyone went, but let's have. Cousin Hea. Let's see, Hea, you want to try? You're talking about Aya Kanalo Mele Maluno Kapua. No, no. This one. Aya Kapupu Maki Kahakai. The shell is at the seashore. Mm -hmm. the s oh. For the beach, yeah. The beach. Yeah. The next one, let's see what you guys get. I'm just going to review. Look for Nalo Meli. Yeah, right here. Pua, you guys should know what Pua is. And then Maluna O, what's Maluna O? Yeah. So let's see what you guys come up with. Good. It means above, but it can also mean. Yeah. Good. Kalai, you want to try read yours? Um, the bee is in the flower. Aya kanalo meli maluna o kapua. All right, one more time. What is uh, maluna? Show. The bee is on top of the flower. The bee is on top of the flower. Mahalo. Okay, and then let's try our two ones in English. Those are a little bit hard. Let's see what you guys can come up with. Good, Kehau. Yep. It's much easier if you're following along with the slideshow on your own computer, but if not, I can go back for you guys. So you have Puel is right here. Your awo, and then the mo'oniho ava is this one. Your that thing. Yeah. 
Kanani, uh, can you read yours? Your first one, the or the Vaone one. Kanani Tolentino. Sorry, Kalamai. Oh, Aya Kapueo Mahope Oke Kumu Lao. Yeah. Wow. The owl is behind the tree. And then let's have um, Haleaka. You want to try the last one? Cousin Haleaka. Aya Kamo Oni Hoava Ma Kavao Oni. Perfect. Good. Okay. So. The animals that you were chose earlier, you guys are going to make um, sentences when you in our breakout rooms, and um, you're just gonna go and try and make some sentences. Um, so create three or four sentences using your animals in different locations, and then you're gonna test each other on the sentences. So read your sentence, and then your partners are gonna have to guess what you're saying. Okay. So maybe I'll give you guys two minutes to create your sentences right now, um, and then. We'll split up in two minutes. Anyone have any questions before we do our breakouts? No, we're good. Yeah, so we're creating four or three or four Aya sentences locating different animals. You can put them in a different island, you can put them in a city, you can put them in a country, or you can put it on top, over, under, the mountain, wherever. Let's see what you guys come up with. You can be creative too. The, um, I don't know, the eagle is on top of Donald Trump. I don't know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Make them crazy. Make them fun. Huh? It's about 30 seconds. I'll give you guys a minute and a half left. Farm. Mahi ai. Mahi ai. Or, sorry, Aina Mahi is farm. Any other things you want me to translate? You can put it in the chat. Hale is house. You don't know that already. Um, Lo'i, you can do Lo'i. Ayaka. Even if you don't want to do animals, you can do Ayakikalo Makalo'i. Elelu, yes. <laughs> Wow, Paya, P A I A, Paya, Kavit, yes. Ilan, you got that, Paya? Okay. Hopefully, you have about two or three. I'll give you guys maybe about 30 seconds to do your last sentence. And then when we get into our breakout rooms, um, the older pe members, not the older members, but like the ones who are here before, um, can you just lead the discussion and facilitate. facilitate, introduce yourselves first, and then um, start asking away. Remember, you're testing your partners on this. Okay, opening up the breakout rooms, you guys can go now, I'll come check in on a few of you. They're joining now. That means they're in this room. Oh. I see. Don't see them. You guys got a request? Lindy, Amanda. I think I'll kind of call in her own on her iPad. Stacy is with her Genesis. This is a chosen she's in it already. Okay, let's join. Oh, they only have two left from this one. Hide my hair. 
um, aya, aya ka papa i mahope o na hohaku. So the crab is behind the rocks. Hi. Uh, hello. Uh -huh. oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Um, I was going to say the cat was on the wall, but I don't know. Is it a kapapoki me? Oh, I don't know. Um, paya? Ma? Paya, that's right, yeah. So you'd say ma kapaya on the wall. Ma. Okay. Yeah. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. あ、ごあやかぷあまかあいなまひあいうんあやかぷあやかぷれれふはまるなおかはれえんあやけこほらまろこおけかいだファーストファーストあやかぷあまかあいなまひあいおんてぐじんだファームファームおるだファーム and then Ayaka Pulele Hua Maluna Okahale. Butterfly Ayaka Nalo Meli Mawaho Punana Punana Meli. The bee is outside the hive. Yeah, good. I actually have Ayaka Nalo Meli and Moe Kamwaho Moe Mawaho O Punana Meli, but I took out the Moe. Yeah, that's kind of hard. Go to my Yeah. Kawai, yeah, you want to go, Kawai? Okay. Aya kamo o ni ho ava maluna kamo na. Good job, Kawai. Can you repeat that? Sorry. Aya kamo o ni ho ava maluna kamo na. Kamo o ni ho ava. The scorpion is on top of the mountain. Yeah. Carly? Aya ka pelehu maloko ko'u opu. Carly. The turkey's inside of your stomach. I love it. How is this? Aya ka pelehu. Maloko o Kalua. <laughs> the turkey is somewhere. <laughs> now in the toilet. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, that. Hmm. Yeah. Good one. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. You guys probably much. Yeah. Okay. No worries. Just um talk, I guess. Or you have to make a uh, uh, make a music. We talk, but we all silent. <laughs> uh, it's kind of awkward too if you don't know each other. But that's what these are for. Yeah, just get to know each other. I guess I don't know. But yeah. Okay. Someone give me one of your sentences. Anyone. Aya kapalehu o maloko o kou opu. I love it. The turkey is in my stomach. Um, Hannah, you wanna, <laughs> were you able to make one, Hannah? Um, yeah, I did have a question about one. I made um, aya kamano ma ke kahakai i nuholani. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. So the shark is in the ocean at um, Australia. Good. Mena ala, you want to try? We have two Hannah. Not a prop, but she, I know. Two Hannahs in this. <laughs> I changed my name. <laughs> I had a prop, but she ran away. Um, I said, Ayakapapoki maluna o ke pa kau kau. Perfect. And you use ke. So the cat is on the table. Makamai, what'd you get? Ayakapuel maho pe ke kumula au. Hey, that was one of our sample sentences. <laughs> oh, was it? I wasn't paying attention. No, I'm just. <laughs> If you made it up, then that's fine. <laughs> yeah, okay, shoot, maybe about two more minutes. I'll let you guys back. Or you guys can go back if you want. Oh, good. Good. Uh -huh.
Uh -huh. Oh, perfect timing. Yes, Paul. I. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, can I get one of your sentences, uh, Leilani? You want to try? Uh, <laughs> I, yeah. <laughs> I didn't write them down. That's why I'm like, ah. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, hold on. Ia ka penequina maluna o kamauna. Look, the penguin is on the mountain. Kaoru, what'd you get? The butterfly is on the flower and see here. Sorry, Auntie, your your mic. What? Mamake ao e ike kame ao e ai nei. Oh, tater tots, Auntie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I never ate all day, so I'm hungry. Aya kanalo meli, maluna o kapua loke. Okay, the B is on the rose flower. And Lindy? Aya kahe malalo o kekai. Perfect. The okay. <laughs> squid is underneath the ocean? Well, under or below. Yeah, under or below. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. You guys can go back to the main room or just run out a little bit. I'll let you guys back in a minute or so. Okay. I don't know how to go back. Okay. Cheers. Right. That's the key. Yeah. Um, right. Hello. Hi. Oh, Hi. iPad was blank. Yeah. Yeah. We did a fun game pool. What? <laughs> we just ask each other where's the random animal and you got to make up where. where oh, it is. you know what? We'll do that next class when we, um, like our review kind. Okay. Like, so give me an example. So, Aya Kapelehu. Okay. Aya Kapelehu Maloko Kou Opu. You know, five groups had that same thing. Oh, for real? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. that's so funny. Aya Ihea Ka, um, I don't know. Yeah, so that's, I mean, good thing you guys know because you can just keep adding on ave, ave, ave. So, aya ka pipi, maka aina mahi ai, ma hope o kake kumula au, ma kualoa, you know, just keep going, yeah. Mm -hmm. We were we were just explaining to each other after we did our exercise how much we appreciate being a part of a Ho'opili Oh, thank you. So, mahalo nui. Yeah, oh. yeah, mahalo. Mahalo. Yeah, no problem. It's We'll keep going as long as you guys keep wanting it, so. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You'll be okay. doing it a while, then. I know. <laughs> okay. For the, for the rest of our lives, then, yeah. Yep. Okay, shoot. Okay, I'll invite everyone back. Okay, hello, Kako. Welcome back. Um, before I move on, everyone, Shaka, I will wait for a little bit more people to come in. I'm going to do a quick class picture. Come on. Okay, those. Okay, if the one's in already, the Shaka. One, two, three. Mary, Shaka, not drink your wine. No. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Mm. Yeah. Like
All right, so hopefully that went well. Um, I know a lot of people said Aya Kapelehu Maloko Ko'u Opu. Like a lot of groups said that. The turkey is inside my stomach, you know. I guess it's pretty fitting for what we just did. That was interesting. <laughs> Okay, so um, you know what? How about we just all write one or two of our sentences that we created in the chat? Um, I'll keep that for later, and then I'll use that for our example sentences um, next class. Yeah, video. What? Video. Yeah, I'm gonna explain that. Okay, so mm -hmm. just choose one or two. You can copy that in the chat before we move on. Good, Kaviks. So he never even used one animal, he used the kinky. The child is in the part. Well, I guess the child is an animal sometimes. Yeah. The penguin is under the house, but the Kaimi, I like your sentence. The whale is in Bishop Museum. Good. Well, Tamila, yeah. Okay. So while that comes, while those come in, uh, let's just finish up, uh, and then we'll do our kanitopila. So, um, I'm gonna have you guys all do your flip grade. Uh, the link is in the chat I sent you guys, and it's also in the email I sent. And it's pretty much just your five ayah sentences. <laughs> The Iyuni bird is on Hawaii Island. Ayaka Peakima, Makina. The panda is in China. Ayaka Nalomeli, Maluno, Kokua. The bee is on top of the flower. Ayaka Mano, Makikai, Maho'ola. The shark is in the waters of Ho'ola. Honolulu, Kokokoka. Okay, so <laughs> you guys can, um, the sentences you guys just created, you can make it and record them on the Flipgrid link that I sent. Okay. I know Makamai did yours, a couple other people did yours, so mahalo. Uh, all right. Stop. Stop. Okay. So um, we have two giving back campaigns that we're doing on a whole PD Mai on our Instagram. And then I figured I'd just share it with you just in case you wanna um, give back. So this is our first one, Kako Okula Hawaii. We're just gonna help to support all of our um, Hawaiian language immersion schools. Um, so all of the proceeds from our shirt sales is gonna go to um, either Kulakaya Puni or Punana Leo, so a different one each week. Um, I know some of you guys have Ohana in those Kaya Puni schools. Sky, I know you're one of them. So we just wanna give back to those schools who sometimes get less funding, and but they do a lot more work. I'm, I'm not saying, not a lot more work, but a lot of work because they have to translate all their material into Hawaiian. So. I mean, whatever we can give, even if it's $20, you know, it's something, okay? And then also we're doing this Pu'olo Kalikimaka, which is, uh, we just, me and Student Cousin Cappy wanted to give back to Ohana's in need, um, especially suffering from COVID. So we're gonna be donating some Lao Lao bundles, which is this Lao Lao rice, poi maybe, and some aside or whatever, to some Ohana's in need, so. That's gonna come up later on, maybe in the last, like right before Christmas kind. Uh, but yeah, I'll send out some emails about, regarding this uh, next week or so. Um, before we pow, mahalo nui loa ya oko Our next meeting is next Tuesday, December 8th. You guys all have the sign up in the chat, yeah? And just mahalo nui loa. If you have any questions, you can stay behind um, and you can stay for our our Kanikapila too. We're going to be doing some fun songs or whatever. But yeah, thank you guys for another great class. Um, am I? Oh, yeah. I just appreciate you guys for everything. So mahalo. And if you have questions, you can stay. If not, talk about that. Talk about that. Talk about that. Mahalo. Mahalo. Huyo. Yeah, if you got to go, you can go. If not, Mahalo Haleaka. Okay, so we're going to be, uh, if you have questions, put them in the chat. But we're going to be learning a song today. Um, kind of fitting because it's 
about an animal, yeah? So this is Naia Onoe, Ehopirimai, Naia Onoe. Naia Onoe. So the delicious fish or sea creatures in the ocean. Um, if you know this one already, can you raise your hand? A lot of the Punana Leo schools learned it. Yeah, Solana, you know. If you went to Explorations, you might have known it too. Solana, yeah, there, that's what you know. Okay, so, um, eh, you know this song, yeah? Yolani, what's your Mopuna name? Vayanuhea. Aloha, Vayanuhea. Aloha. Aloha. <laughs> so you're going to be leading us too with the motion, okay? So let's go over the motion real fast. Eho pinimai. Hemanini keia. Hemanini keia. Okay, so this is a manini or a manini fish, and it's a ia kaha kaha. Ia kaha kaha. Okay, it's a striped fish. So our motion is going to be like this. Follow along if you want. If not, just laugh at us being crazy. <laughs> okay, you're going to go like this. Hemanini keia. Okay, and then you're going to go. He ia kaha kaha. So showing the stripe. Okay, let's try that again. Hemanini keia, heia ka ha ka ha. Okay, good. Then you're gonna rub your belly. Eai kako. Wait, sorry. You're gonna eat it. Eai kako. Eai kako. Awe ka onoe. Then rub your belly. Okay, so we eat all of the the food, and oh, how delicious it is. So. Okay, any questions? You guys get them? Let's try it together. Okay. Uh oh yeah, I'll sing. You guys should just do the motions. Okay, ready and go. Okay, good. Um, next one, you're going to have your opihi. Opihi is your, one of your favorites. Yeah? You love opihi? Oh, no, you don't. That's, that's, that's your husband. Okay, so opihi is um, the limpet, um, and it's a uh, pa. It sticks to the rock. It sticks firmly to the rock. Okay, so the same motion at the beginning. He opihi ke ia ia he ia pili. Clap, pili, pa, a. Okay, try that again. He, e, a, pili, pa, a. Okay, let's try that. And go. He, o, pi, di, ke, e, a. He, e, a, pili, pa, a. Okay, good, pretty easy. Okay, we're gonna, the same for the next one, so we'll skip that. Uh, let's go to Vanna. I hope you mind. Hey, Vanna Kaya. I hope you mind. Oh, hey, hey, Vanna Kaya. Hey, Vanna Kaya. Okay, and hey, Vanna, hey, of Vanna Vanna. Hey, of Vanna Vanna. So it's a spiky um, fish. So we're going to go. Ia actually means sea creature. So not just fish, but any sea creature. So hey, Vanna Kaya. Hey, Avana, Vanna. Showing our spikes. Okay. Hey, Avana, Vanna. Let's try that whole line. Ready and go. Hey, Vanna, Hey, Avana, Vanna. Okay, good. Um, and la our our last sea creature is a hee, which is a squid. Squid. So. He he e he ia he ia and it's a a pika pika, which is um sticky or like it has suction cups. So on our arm, this is like our ave or tentacle. You're gonna go he a pika pika, yeah, showing your suction cups. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's try that and. Good. And then lastly, Haina. So our story is told. 
Now you are okay of the different fish of the sea. So from her mouth, your right hand. Ha e na e my. So back and forth again. Ha e na e my. Okay, then you're gonna go na Na e a oke kai to the fish of the ocean. E ai kako awe ka onoe. And I'm not a kumuhula by any means. But uh, I'm not either. You are after a drink <laughs> or two. <laughs> okay, so let's see what we can do. Let's try the whole thing um, with me and then next without me. I'm going to play the ukulele and you guys just try to know them on your own. Okay. So, Iolani, if Wayanuhea can come back for that second one, she can be the leader. Okay? All right, let's try it from the beginning. Uh, oh, yeah. Hemani ni ke ia, he i a ka ha ka ha, e ai ka ko awe ka onoe. Next and go. He o pi hi ke ia, he i a pi li pa a, e ai ka ko awe ka onoe. He vana and go. He vanna ke ia, he i a vanna vanna, e ai ka ko awe ka onoe. He he he, ready, go. He he e ke ia, he i a pika pika, e ai ka ko awe ka onoe. Haina and go. Ha i na i a mai, na i a o ke kai, e ai ka ko awe ka ono, ono e. Okay, so you get them? Let's try them. Well, we gotta eat them that fast, like e ai ka ko. You gotta eat it that fast. Ay, yeah, yeah, okay. You gotta eat that fast. Okay, um, Iolani, if you guys can follow Iolani, or her, your mo puna stay or no? Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> Okay, so you gotta be the leader then. I'll try my best, guys, okay? Sorry if I do wrong motions. <laughs> okay. Okay, Mary. <laughs> okay, so just follow, or just make it up, or have a shot, whatever. <laughs> Can I pass my tuner? Mahalo, Hannah. Aloha. No, sorry, you didn't pick. Okay, ready. Let's do it. Sing along too, but more importantly, just try and do the motions and have fun. It's too high. Do this. I'll go slower. Okay. 
I come for awake. Don't follow her. Follow Haleaka. Follow the bed. I am a I Monarch 2021, um, hula hula, or oh, don't come back ever. <laughs> and then our Miss Law Hula Congestion is going to be Suda Kazi Kapi doing It's a Beautiful Day. That's the only song she knows. So we're going to do that for her kai, her mele, and her hoi. Oh, wow. Okay, so.